Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another HRT career race brought to you by Andrew Bortz. I am Agent Mulder 5 and with me is none other than Andrew Bortz himself. How are you doing Andrew? Hey folks, I'm, uh, I'm doing pretty good myself. So yep, we have another race set at this time on Kuala Lumpur. Yet another career race, see if it'll be an interesting one. Hoping for rain, tends to spice things up. We'll get to seeing how it's going. So uh, yeah, anything you want to say before we start off? Um, oh, no, not a lot really. Uh, <laughs> I've, I've had quite a hard day today, uh, you know, losing my job and whatever. So, oh, uh, that sucks. What happened, man? Uh, you, don't, you guys don't want to know that. <laughs> Ooh, some, I guess we'll have to talk about that later after the yeah. recording, but yeah. Later, I, uh, had maybe. Two, I had two back-to-back -back exams today, so or uh, in the last two days even. It's been interesting. So yeah, going through the setup, uh, feel free, pause here if you want to steal and try to drive like Andrew. I uh, doubt that you can, but you never know. Yeah, so, one, of, one or two might be lucky. <laughs> I bet Steve could do it. Oh, Steve can do anything he, if he really puts his mind to it. Aw, oh, motivational speak for whenever he sees this next. I think he's in Germany now, he tweeted. I don't remember. Makes you so, sick. <laughs> no chance of rain, sadly, so we have another dry race ahead of us. Qualifying in fifth place, not on the pole this time. No, um, on primes as well, so... Um, quite happy with that. Um, I think I was... Uh, I did this race, like, I don't know, a week ago now, so I, I can't remember what happened at all. Um, so Alonso on pole again, I think. He was on pole <laughs> last time. Uh, maybe it was me, I don't know. I think you were pole last race, but Alonzo wasn't far behind. And here we are, five red lights and they're out, and it's go, go, go. Bad start there, Nuzi by, Mass by, Kupitsa by, everyone and their mother is going by. Yet Prosper, again. truly, <laughs> yet again is right. Couldn't pull a blocking maneuver there, couldn't pull a Vettel, like he did on this race this year, blocking yeah. everybody left and right. Yeah, Hulkenberg. Nice run up the outside. Yeah. Hulkenberg <laughs> decided he wants to uh, try and slam me off the track a little bit. And Trudy's made an absolutely flying start to about eight. Which uh, really surprised me where I mean, it surprised me when I was even driving. I just saw this green car, I was like, what is he doing here? <laughs> yes, Trudy is not forming a train. Truly is a train bursting through the field, pushing everyone around and getting himself up to eight. Hulkenberg desperately trying to maintain his contract as Rosberg's on your ass, and you go a little bit off. Thought it was going to be more exciting. Okay, this is more exciting. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm trying some new interesting lines for this race. Um, not all of them work out. Indeed. I pull in a Petrov there almost on that corner, deciding to stick it in throttle. <sighs> I can never, you know, poor Journey on Twitter. I never give him a break. I'm always bashing Petrov, but I like the guy. Yeah, well, that, yes. there'll, there'll be a moment uh, later on where we can uh, we can reminisce on uh, Petrov's little uh, rally cross, should we say? <laughs> rally cross, motor X, whatever you want to call. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Why must you every time I'm making a point? You do something interesting as Petrov is right behind you. And now you're forming a little truly train as it's Alonzo from I have no idea and all the way down to Button. You and Petrov, but I'm not doing too hot with uh, really beating him, beating him, yeah. Yeah, I'm really struggling with it with this track. It's uh, I actually went through all three practice sessions, did the whole lot. Um, I, I think I look, took some like three percent off of uh, off of the engine. Um, yeah, so not not good for the rest of the season, but uh, it was practice that was definitely needed. Are you not comfortable on this track, or is it your car? What is it? Um, I would love love to blame the car, but I absolutely hate this track. Oh, I, I actually really like it. I, I just like it has a different kind of feel to it. I really like it, although a lot of my uh, co-racers online they don't they don't think the same. As Petrov looks like he's going to try to make a move, maybe, maybe not. Okay, back to where we were. As this corner again. Is that your line that you're taking, or is, is that the no, It looks as though you have a lack of grip. No, it's the second lap, and I'm just struggling for for turning in. Um, the the reason why I 
it's not that I really hate the track, it's just that my, I've never really got a car that turns. Um, if, if I hit everything spot on, it's no problem at all, but um, more often than not, uh, I bugger up, you know, one out of every five corners. <laughs> well, you're not doing that bad, don't be so hard on yourself, but we see Button, he's not pulling away too much, so at least you're sort of keeping up with him. Petrov's way back there now, somewhere in that field, Rosberg ahead of him, truly moving back to 10th. Wonder if he'll start working his way through the field, or I don't even remember, uh, how did the Lotuses finish in your first season? Did they finish well enough to upgrade? Uh, they may have done, um, I can't really remember. Yeah, because it seems it seems strange. I've never seen a Lotus up that far, unless you know they do really well. I have no, to I... say, my first my first season, I didn't do particularly well, and I signed with Lotus, so uh, I left them in a hurry with Tara Rosso, but no, uh, no, no I think, uh, I think Copa it was, moments. Yeah, I think it was just uh, pure luck that he he scooted down the outside of or inside of everyone. So uh, say it caught me well off. <laughs> What's he doing up here? And then speaking of uh, Team Lotus, Chandok going to be driving at Nuremberg, replacing Truly himself, the guy you see in front of you. Uh, it'll be interesting to see. I, I don't think Chandok's going to be complaining about power steering issues, but <laughs> that's just me. I'm I'm ecstatic. I love him. Yeah, me too. Um, so, somehow I also think uh, he's going to be saying the car is brilliant. I can, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, he, he's gonna, I, I I think if Truly wasn't afraid for his contract, he's gonna be afraid now if, if Chandok can pull a good performance. Because we've seen Kovalon at every step just completely outpacing him and just driving that car to the limit. As, get by Truly, maybe make it sick, nope, yep, yes, no, yes, no. Now that's Rosberg behind you. Yeah, so, uh, maybe eventually, no but yeah, I mean, I, I just... I kind of feel for the guy because I don't think that he's on top form, but still, I mean, just to see Kovalainen and pushing the car like he does. And no, I was waiting for it there. I was like, is he going to make it? Is he going to make it? But no, as now we are behind Truly. Now you should make it sick. You don't make this sick. If you go off here, I'm going to laugh at you. Oh, oh great. You. you can do it. Well, thank you, got you. It. I'm not going off yet. You can do it. There you go. All right. Now we're all set. But yeah, like Kovalainen is basically pulling a Kobayashi with the Lotus. I mean, he's just driving it well far and above what it should be finishing. And hopefully next year, crossing fingers, Kovalainen, uh, Chandok 1-2, unless Kovalainen moves on. Yeah, there's, uh, yeah, not really much happening now. <laughs> Rosberg's made easy pickings of Trulli already and uh, yeah, yeah uh, I was really hoping you know Trulli would hold someone up but it just seems like everyone except for me gets past him cleanly or well, you know fast yeah so he's I'm, definitely I'm still, falling back yeah, although still, looking at that radar sorry but uh, go ahead yeah I'm, I'm still improving on the on the sector times but uh, it doesn't feel like it if we look back uh, further back on the radar, it uh, looks like Senna's doing decently well. That'd be what, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't notice, it must have been they were bunched up because I thought there were a lot fewer cars than that. Uh, at the moment, I'm, uh, I've got my target of 10th uh, place for this race. Uh, currently achieving it, but uh, I'm also thinking Ah, uh, Rosberg's quicker than me. There's no way I'm going to achieve uh, my target yeah, today. It appears you have received that message and you understand um, <laughs> that Rosberg is faster than you. But the question will be, your pitch strategy has worked in your favor quite a lot this season so far, switching in the options and then absolutely blitz in the field. Uh, is that what you were planning for this race or is this, point, is this just damage control? Uh, yeah, I was more thinking of damage control. Um, I knew that if I started on options, I was going to get mugged at the start anyway, with the super long straight. Um, as Rosberg tries to uh, have a little look, 
Um, sends my heart racing at the time. Um, yeah, I knew I was going to get mugged at the start, so I thought, no, I'll, I'll go on primes. I'm pretty far up the grid anyway. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Going back to um, Trulli, uh, I think one of the sessions may have been wet. Uh, I think Q2 may have been wet. So that might explain why he may have been a bit further up. But even still, I mean, he if Q1 was dry and he got out of Q1, that definitely points to the Lotus as having improved at some point. Yeah, um, I've noticed um, some people, if they skip through the sessions there, you know, they accelerate the time. Um, it doesn't matter what... Um, what cars uh, are on the track they'll do it within a set time if you let the whole sessions run they'll uh, they'll record the proper times the cars do and you know if they get held up they get held up um, so you know it, that could have uh, contributed as I go wide again and Rosberg yeah, uh, nails me <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah, so we're getting on by he's having no problems with his brakes uh, well maybe he is Go on the inside, will you make it sick? No, his acceleration is just too much for you. As we jumped to lap 11 and 56. Yeah, and I noticed that too. I was trying to put my finger on why your start here was so much worse than the other ones I've seen, and it's that straightaway. It's the fact that Australia has a really short run-up. Bahrain has a relatively short run-up. So, yeah. First corner, just everyone and their mother got by you. As yeah. Rosberg, is he going to make that typical AI dash? What? Yes, he is. And look at that, he disappears. <gasps> really? Could that have been an editing trick? I think it is, as we're now up to lap 13. I do admit that that did take me by surprise first thing. I was like, wait, what the hell just happened? And then I realized this. Um, was that your riderless Russian moment? Uh, maybe. Oh, there's more. As uh, the riderless Russian himself gets by, up to P11, not bad. Petrov, not bad. Uh, yeah, oh. Jump into lap 14 as it was about to go off on another tangent. Yeah, no, it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't the rally cross moment I'm uh, thinking of. Uh, I, I may, uh, I may show him how it's done later on. I'm intrigued as Rosberg. I think they said is in the pits. If I'm not mistaken. I probably am. I might be. As yeah, now Rosberg, fields yeah. start coming. That was probably Petrov. Probably as we're skipping ahead again to lap 22 <laughs> of 56. And there goes Shumi into the pits. Maybe he'll come off and come out and keep his wing for once. Skipping ahead to lap 25, 56. Not much going on. Rosberg back on your ass after going into the pits. Both on prime, except yours are a little more worn. And whoa, dear lord, he is coming up on you fast. Yeah. yeah that, 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 that doesn't look good. No, nah, it only seems to be through the, the uh, that's those sweeping turns that they they really catch up to me there. Um, through the rest of the track, I'm I'm pretty much all right. Yep, it seems like those turns always are your undoing. Will they catch on this one? Yes. He even seems like he took a better line than you. Oh, that might have just been a bit of an off moment. Oh, I don't know about that. It's to rain. Light rain. Even though it's a zero percent chance of rain, it is Malaysia. Weathermen are there are probably in a worse position than they are in the U.S. Although at least they have the excuse of an unpredictable climate. Our weather people suck. Yeah. It's supposed to be 80 degrees and nice a day, but no, it's a hundred. Yeah, stupid heat waves. Yeah, and as you can see, the rain is already gone. <laughs> it's there and then it's not. It's actually like the real Malaysian Grand Prix where they had like a few little sprinkles and then nothing. <laughs> yeah. We might have more than a few sprinkles uh, at Nurburg for the race this weekend, which means that we're going to have 30 minutes of racing followed by two hours of red flag, followed by a procession on the wets just for funsies, and then maybe a good 15 minutes of holy god, this is amazing racing. Rosberg takes another look. Doesn't make it sick. You are holding Rosberg, though. To your credit, you are holding him off. But it doesn't bode well that you haven't really gained many positions in the pit stops. Uh, no. Have you? Have the, have the top field gone that. in yet? Am I look mistaken? at that. Rosberg goes in again. Really? 
Yeah. Now, why would that be? I have no idea. It surprised me at the time, and it still you surprises me now. I'm thinking maybe if it started raining a little bit when he went in, could he have switched? No, he wouldn't have switched to Inters. No, because he, he came in well early. Could he have gone option option prime? I don't know why he would, but... Ah, uh, no idea. This yeah. catches some of the back markers now. Degrassi, Glock. Ah, well, it seems like at least Senna is beating the Virgins. Although, uh... This year, with the way Karthikein has been performing, he still will be a virgin if he keeps this performance up. Nothing exciting there at all, as went. Speaking of Senna. Yeah, now to try and pass him without me going off the track. Oh, is that a... No. I was about to say, is, is that a hint to something? But no. No, Sadly. no, just, you know, last race. Mm. Outbreak myself. True, I do remember. I do remember last race. But then again, you f finished well last race, all things considered. Yeah. Although, all things considered, this race this is fantastic for an HRT. See, these sweep corners that usually undo you. No one's close enough to capitalize those. Petrov's coming back up on you. Hulkenberg in front. It seems like the order from what I'm seeing is pretty much steady button. Ooh. Nice. Nicely recovered. Nothing too fancy there. Yep, but didn't use, the, didn't use the uh, the breaking uh, trick at all. Just uh, yeah, did the throttle as I come into the pits on lap 40. Yep. Stall for the line and put the limiter on. Intense. Yes. Uh, ooh, where am I going to drop to? <laughs> Kobayashi in 12th. He's doing well. Petrov now up to 10th. Someone else was in the pits there. I don't know who that was, but. Seems like we have more people out in the boxes. Long trek down to the very end of this. Nicely done. Fronts off, fronts on. Jack down, and there we go. 4.4 seconds. Not bad, not bad at all for a back marker team. Limits are off. Limits are off. Wow, you didn't actually lose that many places. I'm surprised. And then was you all... messed up the first corner. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's natural to mess up the first corner, because I'll have to come in at the pits. <laughs> but uh, it was all planned. I wasn't meant to lose, uh, you know, any any pit, this, you know, places in the pits. Honest. <laughs> yes, everything went according to plan. I'm sure, that's what Bernie thought too. Before they found out, he gave forty million dollars to that guy. But that's another story for another <laughs> day. I'm not gonna delve into that one. Oh boy. Um, let's see. Who are we catching now? Is Della Rosso. I thought that was Kobayashi for a second, but yeah, no, I expected you to lose a lot more places with how fast everyone was coming up behind you, but I guess there's a definite, definite gap. It's not a, uh, it's definitely a further gap than I would have expected, seeing as some of the people behind you have solid cars. So now we're catching up to more these back markers. 49 out of 56, and I've pretty much uh, accepted that I'm not going to get my... 10th place that's needed to please the team. Well, if I'm not mistaken, it does look like Kobayashi in front of Degrassi. Yeah, it's, it's uh, Kobayashi, but uh, <laughs> so I nearly cut Degrassi up. Um, but still, that's you know that's a one place ahead uh, that I've got to get. 1.9 seconds that last shot before we edited, and you're definitely catching him. Yeah, you might get him. Now the question is, like you said, yeah, will 10th place be possible? And that depends on who it is. If I remember correctly, Petrov, yet yeah, no. And so I think that's Petrov there just on the main nav if you took a quick glance. I don't think you're going to be able to make that up in six laps. Unless Petrov pulls a Petrov and just sends his car into the wall. Ah, oh, you never know. And if you're passing Timo yet again. And... Turn, turn, gas pedal, turn. Nothing really exciting, sorry, but nah, nah. An yet another uneventful, uneventful race. So I'm like, like, what can I talk about? Oh wait, ha what? What the hell? Is that who I think it is? It may be. Yes, can I make it is Pietro. Last? Somebody feeds him the vodka, so he can off track. Oh, oh, holy shit. 
and we're by Petrov. The team are going to be jumping up and down now. Rob is going to be having a crisis. And who is all this in front of you? Are these well, position I wish cars? Are they back eight and seven? But. Huh. It's truly, whoa, truly, oh, poor truly, all the way down into 19th. He's back in scum blast now. If you don't know what that is, watch top here. <laughs> yeah, brilliant episode. Yeah. I feel bad for the train reviewer guy. I mean, I, yeah. I swear he was going to be shitting himself <laughs> with Jeremy driving as we push to La Rosa a little bit. Not that it matters. He's going to lose his contract anyway. Spoiler alert. And we're by Lewis Hamilton, number one. I'm happy to see that, but I'm biased. <laughs> I'm happy to see it too. <laughs> if if Alonso uh, comes anywhere out of the points, I'll be happy. <laughs> Although, yeah, it'll be a, what should be an interesting is when we get to Monaco because uh, it tends to get really tricky. AI cars don't usually have a perfect race there. Although uh, Catalonia too, in the one uh, S section, they usually mess up. Yep, so it can well, be exciting, we can see some mixed results. Yeah, well, I've already done uh, China Race, and uh, all we've got to do on that is uh, is the commentary for that. Uh, oh, and I've got to cut it all together. Um, so my next race will be, well, it'll be an online race first, uh, before I get to do Catalonia. So uh, hopefully I'll get it out next week. Indeed, hopefully you can get it cropped and chopped and I can remember to take my testosterone so I don't sound like a little girl. But, did I just say that on my TV? I think I did. Whoopsie. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I don't take testosterone, but I do sound like a little girl at times. Uh, hang on, if Alonzo comes up behind me, I tend to scream. As you do your typical spin, the engineers cannot be happy with what you have just done to that gearbox. <laughs> but you met their goals. So I think rebuilding an entire car will uh, just be a minor punishment. Good job. We've taken ten. That's one point. <laughs> that was sort of <laughs> anticlimactic. Nice. We've taken ten. That's one point. As we see Hamilton, Alonso, Weber, Vettel, Massa, Lutzi, Lutzi. Oh, nice job there. Button, Kubis, Hulkenberg, Bortz, Petrov, Kobayashi, Schumacher, Barrichello, Rosberg, Sudel, Kovalainen, and Aldisuari, Truly, Buemi, Senna, De La Rosa, Glock, Degrassi. You're still top in the driver's championship table. Jesus. Rob. See, th that one point really helped. <laughs> it did. It did. That's where Rob was about to have an aneurysm there. Although I would too if HRT were all the way up there. I would just like... I would quit my degree and just be like, no, screw this. I can't do it anymore. So, yep. There we go. Done and dusted. Kuala Lumpur. Now, next up is China. Yeah, hope everyone uh, enjoyed today. Uh, I did. <laughs> I enjoyed racing it. Um, 24, finally. I wonder what team that unlocks. I don't know. I know 25 is Williams, but yep. Really fun. Hope to see you guys in China or the online race, whichever is next. And I'll see you guys next time. Yep. See you later, guys. And yes, I just totally stole that line from Husky StarCraft. Go watch him, he's awesome.